Today on The Daily Dose, Sputnik and the Birth of the Space Race. Launched on October 4, 1957, Sputnik was the first man-made object to orbit in outer space. And while the Soviet satellite sent out nothing more menacing than innocent radio signals, what terrified Americans was the rocket that propelled Sputnik into low Earth orbit. Soviet leaders were quick to point out that the rocket that carried Sputnik into space was equally capable of launching nuclear warheads at their Cold War enemies in the West. American exceptionalism became instantly strained by the Soviets' boast, terrifying average Americans and politicians alike with the fact that America had been caught flat-footed in the face of the Soviets' early lead into space. What went wrong? How did a nation of backward peasants forge so dramatically ahead of us in the race to space? A foreign country, especially an enemy country, can do this. If we fear this. We fear that they have something out that majority of the people don't know about. The people of the United States have been humiliated. They're disturbed and they're unhappy. Dominance of this completely new area? Well, I think the consequences are fairly plain. Probable Soviet world domination. The very public failure of America's own satellite, the Vanguard TV-3 on December 6, 1957, only served to heighten the public's perception that the U.S. lagged far behind the Soviets when it came to potential military dominance in space. On January 31, 1958, America finally achieved some degree of parity with the Soviets after the successful launch of Explorer 1 by the Army Ballistic Missile Agency. Despite this early success, however, President Eisenhower urged his countrymen to react with resourcefulness and vigor while his administration further led the charge by dismantling the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics and replacing it with NASA on October the 1st, 1958. From that day onward, America would steadily outperform the Soviet space program with its compelling successes during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo manned space flights, which would ultimately beat the Russians to the moon when on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong first set foot on the lunar surface. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And there you have it Sputnik and the birth of the space race. Today on the Daily Dose.